Yo, I listen to rap every day, but I also code, wouldn't have it any other way. See, I love computers, they're incredibly flat. Let me show you how I built rap with AI. I took all the music from my rap playlist, converted it to train my computer for a bit. The music that I made is oh so lit. Time to get the show on the road, isn't it? <laughs> My name is Ruchir Baronia, and I'm a sophomore here at Doherty Valley High School. In my free time, I like to code and go to hackathons, but I also really love listening to music. I've published a plethora of independent Android apps and Alexa skills, and most recently, I've worked with Stanford University to predict human linguistic models using machine learning. Now, what I've noticed about modern music is that a lot of it sounds really similar. Don't get me wrong, there is some really good music out there. But when you look at the vocals or the background music, it kind of sounds the same. It seems as though we're approaching a wall in creating new and unique music. Which brings me to my question. What will happen when we run out of innovation? You see, innovation is like a marathon. And sooner or later, we're going to run out of ideas. When that happens, artificial intelligence and machine learning will provide us with the ideas and innovations we need of the future. When you do something, like send an email or use your calculator app, your computer takes an input, applies some code onto that input, then creates an output. Now machine learning is similar, but it's a whole lot cooler. Instead of just taking an input and making an output, artificial intelligence takes a whole lot of input and output. It takes this training data learns the patterns in the data, and creates a model based around the patterns that it has learned. Now, this is cool because it allows us to create interpretations based on these models. Now, artificial intelligence is actually based around the way humans think. Similar to how we, as humans, use neurons to identify, understand, and explain the world around us, artificial intelligence uses neural networks. Each neuron acts as an individual algorithm and the combined layers of neurons are called neural networks. For example, in this neural network, responsible for identifying cats and dogs, each neural layer narrows down into the number of classifications. Here, a cat or a dog. Now, the way it does this is every neuron produces a completely random output at first. However, as we begin to train the neural network with more and more data, it starts to become smarter. The more training data we provide, the more responsive it becomes to minor details. So, I learned about artificial intelligence recently, and I decided I wanted to teach my computer how to rap. Or, actually, I wanted to teach my computer how to teach itself how to rap. Here's what I did. In the beginning of winter break, I came across a blog post by a man named Andre Karpathy. It outlined how neural networks worked, and it taught me how to install one on my computer. After getting everything set up, I started to move towards my goal through a series of takes. Take one. So the neural network that I set up was meant to take some text input, create a model based around this text, and produce some output based on the model and the patterns that it learned in the text. The framework that I had set up came with an already made file of Shakespeare that I could use and input into my framework. So I took it, put it into the machine learning framework, let it train for six hours, and was able to produce this output. Now, if you'll read it, it sounds like Shakespeare on drugs. <laughs> but despite the fact that it doesn't really make sense, this is entirely computer generated. Let me give you an explanation of what happened. My computer took the Shakespeare. It learned the patterns in Shakespeare's writing and created a model based around the patterns that it had learned. Then, when I produced some output, it used that model to create what you see in front of you. But this is kind of boring. And if you'll ask any of my English teachers, they'll be quick to tell you that I am not a fan of literature. So forget Shakespeare, I wanted to teach my computer how to rap. I thought it would be easy. I would just take my music from my rap playlist, download it, turn it into text, put the text into my framework, and get some text output, and then make that some music. Same way I did the Shakespeare. 
So after five days of trying to follow these steps, I had done it. I had finally done it. Just kidding. This is only take two. It turned out I was unable to put my text input into my sheets, into my machine learning framework because MP3 files weren't able to combine as text. So I had to use a different option. I completely wiped out the framework that I was using and installed a new one, one that could take WAV audio files as input. So I repeated the process. I took all my MP3 files, downloaded them, turned them into WAV files, put them into the framework, let it train for six hours, and got some output. This time, I was actually able to get something. Yeah. I was disappointed too. It turned out that since rap music has so much going on in it, like background music, vocals, drums, and straight fire, my artificial intelligence system was unable to distinguish the different parts and was only able to produce an end result of static. Maybe if I had more computational power or more training time, I would have been able to create something that worked. But I didn't have that computational strength. So I decided to move on to another try. Take four. <laughs> so this time I installed a different framework one that could take MIDI audio files as input. If you're not sure on what a MIDI file is, it's basically a file that contains audio, but instead of containing the actual file of music, it contains sheet music that can be played digitally through any virtual instrument. So I downloaded hundreds of MIDI files from rap songs, and I put it all into the artificial engine. Then I let it train for nearly 12 hours and produced output at 10% intervals to examine the progress of my machine learning framework. Here's what a beat sounded like from 10%. Make it stop, make it stop. <laughs> okay, this sounded really, really bad. But this was only 10% and I continued to let it train and generate more MIDI files. Eventually, I was able to get a really nice tune out of it. And this sounded really nice, so I was pretty proud of it. But it's not really a rap beat until it has drums. So I got my friend to add some drums to it and mix it up a little bit. Here's what it sounded like. So that sounded a lot better, <laughs> but this wasn't actually what I was going for in the beginning. My goal was to create a rap song. This was just a rap instrumental. At this point in the project, I was starting to give up. I thought it wouldn't be possible. And then I had an idea. What if I took the Shakespeare that I generated earlier and put that on top of this beat? All looks and it why When for she's an eye upon my does it me I cheer the king nothing that your side that bite down and be ignoble other that I am speak me to my prayer Reninius Der should come I will shot confide or no Tis title he did we must well we're sent A Sava and Mark true a very live The gold is speak to entry to our blood Time to our head Give like your guess Can't pronounce that As you thought we made that for Queen Bis dance away from that good maid or maiden and queen that and your son Come fell you woman I join a strumper from tip to thy flower in whom more defend is there that's just a 40 second snippet of the full song which I put on YouTube. It's called Computer Generated Rap Song Lil CPU. <laughs> now, the end result was completely different from what I had planned. It took me nearly six tries to get this going. And this was not what I wanted in the beginning. In fact, I wanted a rap song and I didn't want to plan out the beat separately from the lyrics. 
that I never planned to use Shakespeare as my lyrics. I never planned to artificially generate a beat, and I definitely did not plan to spend my entire winter break on this project. However, as I continued to run through the marathon, I was eventually able to create something that I'm proud of. You see, at its current state, machine learning and human intelligence can only complement each other. However, when you combine artificial intelligence with natural human curiosity, we can innovate. See, my computer was able to create some lyrics and a beat, but it required some human interference to put it all together into an actual song. Which brings about the question, what will happen when we run out of innovation? And what will drive society forward? And the answer is artificial intelligence. You see, as AI continues to develop, it will push the barriers of innovation and drive society forward in the marathon of life. I truly believe that just as my rusty old 2011 Mac was able to create a rap song using machine learning, we, as humans, will be able to rely on machine learning for our latest innovations. See, it's just a matter of time before we start to run out of ideas. And when that happens, artificial intelligence has our back. Thank you.